Hi there! This is another casting rumor video for House of the Dragon, the Game of Thrones prequel about the Dance of the Dragons. We think we just figured out that they've cast Bela and Rhaena Targaryen, the twin daughters of Daemon Targaryen, Matt Smith, uh, by his first wife, Lena Valarian. Uh, both of them are dragon riders. In terms of their importance in the story, these are loosely the Dance of the Dragons equivalent of Sansa and Arya Stark. The one's a girly girl, one's, one's a tomboy, and they're very prominent. But like I've said in other videos, when you're dealing with the younger characters, the youngest characters in this, these will be unknowns. Like, you know, Maisie Williams and Sophie Turner were child actors, they were unknowns in Game of Thrones, or Kit Harrington, or even Amelia Clark. that the younger you get, these aren't people you're going to recognize that I didn't know who any of these people were, they're all child actors I'm going to go over. And particularly season one, these might not be playing it throughout the run of the show, because we know there's going to be time skips. We just heard that there's going to be a young Rhaenyra and young Alicent, that proportionally you'd see younger children for this, that the people they cast as Bela and Rhaena are 12 years old. Will they necessarily be playing it through season three? Or will they recast like they will Rhaenyra and Alicent, would, would they said they would, that there's two different people even playing it in Season 1? So these might just be placeholder small kids, like Amon. We saw spy photos of Amon, one-eyed uh, Targaryen, and we know that's going to be recast by Season 3. They cast like a 15-year-old for Season 1, because that's how old he was during the Year of the Red Spring, about 10 years before the dance began. So some of these will be recast. It's So why are we fixated on all this? If it's child actors we don't know who might be recast anyway, it's confirming that the character is in the show. We're really worried about, well, what characters are they going to cut out? Because even early in the run of Game of Thrones, before they really went off the books, we could tell they're cutting out some characters like the other Tyrell brothers. That think back to when they had that really nice 20-minute animated story, The Dance of the Dragons, included with the Season 5 Blu-rays. For a 20-minute summary, it was really good, and I don't blame them for this. For a 20-minute thing, they didn't even mention the existence of Bela and Reyna, or of Allison's youngest son, Daron the Daring, who is also a dragon rider, also plays a significant part in the military campaigns of the war. You know, it was like a 20-minute supercut of Game of Thrones seasons 1 through 3 would focus on Rob Stark, Catelyn Stark, and Cersei, but leave out a lot of side characters. So it's been a big debate over will Daron the Daring be in the show, will Bela and Reyna even be in it at all? So we've been worried about that, so I'm going to go over that we are pretty confident that these two girls are playing Bela and Reyna, and based on who they're following on Instagram, less certain, I think there's rumors starting of some other child actors who could be playing the other cast members. Start with a uh, 12-year-old actress, Shawnee Smithhurst, posted on her Instagram account about filming in Cornwall, that she was heading there on April 28th to film tomorrow, which is the day filming started in Cornwall for House of the Dragon. Hey, tomorrow I'm going to film on a big project I'm not allowed to talk about, the suspiciously the same time and place they were filming House of the Dragon. And while she was there, she took a photo of herself in front of the hair and makeup trailer, which visibly has a sign on it that says Red Gun. Now, if you've been following my channel, you know, we figured out Red Gun is the production code name for House of the Dragon. Like how Star Wars Return of the Jedi was Blue Harvest. And it's, guys, if you figured out, you know we have figured out that you're called Red Gun. Why don't you switch to another code name? Is it just to fool people when you're shipping containers and stuff? Because it's a popular franchise. People will look for Red Gun now. So that's why I consider it a lock, that she was there and has a photo in front of a sign that says Red Gun. Then, through, I told you in prior videos, we're figuring out who the cast is based on their Instagram follows. And this worked for finding that Graham McTavish had joined. This worked that we accurately figured out that um, 
these two other actresses, Millie Alcock and Emily Carey, had joined the cast. We guessed wrong on who they were playing. We didn't realize, oh, they're young Rhaenyra and young Allison. But through their Instagram follows and just tracing, well, if you're followed by three to four other people we know about, that can't be a coincidence. So based on that, now we figured out, okay, Smethurst is probably in the cast. Who is she following heavily? And not just me, other fans like Victoria, VK Glenn, a lot of other people have been doing this and on Reddit. I'm just reporting this here. Smethurst is following and being followed by another young actress named Ava Osai Gurning. And they comment on each other's posts pretty regularly and like them pretty regularly. Both of these actresses are described, uh, self-described in their profile as mixed race. Uh, Shawnee's says mixed race. Uh, Ava's specifically says she's half Welsh and half Ghanaian. Now then, because we're checking out, well, who's commenting on their stuff pretty frequently? It might be another cast member. When you go to Ava Osai Gurning's spotlight profile, it says she's also currently filming on a high-profile HBO series in which she has a uh, principal cast member means you have a speaking role. That doesn't mean you're a, starring it. It's, I have a role in a high-profile HBO series, which was filming around the Cornwall shoot, and I have speaking lines. And it says, due for release in 2022. So, we really think this is Bela and Reyna. I don't know which is which. Uh, some people have asked, I thought they were identical twins. I, I went back and checked. They are actually fraternal twins, but they're very similar-looking fraternal twins. They said when they were younger, it was hard to tell them apart. But like Jamie and Cersei, they said infamously, well, when we were small children, if we switched clothes, people couldn't tell us apart. But then it was boy and girl that they diverged from that. Uh, even with Bela and Reyna, they said, well, they looked more similar when they were small children. But Bela's a tomboy and Reyna is, you know, delicate. So obviously Bela is you know more lean, tough, more muscled. She cuts her hair short so the hair won't whip in her face when she's riding a dragon. They look very similar in the books, but they've clear if these two have been cast, they they've clearly changed that. That isn't an issue. They weren't identical twins. So it, it doesn't matter. Anyway, Ava posted a photo of a beach at night to her profile, captioned end of day's shoot with some of my cast members which was liked by Shadi, that there's these two mixed-race girls, roughly the age we'd expect to be, around 12, because they aged up the younger characters, seem to be filming in Cornwall for something HBO is doing, and they're not allowed to talk about it. But she posted this really interesting photo of a beach at night, backlit, you can't see, it's just outlines. Uh, two of the outlines look like these girls, Ava and Shani, with three smaller boys. The question is, could this be Rhaenyra's three uh, sons by Lenor, uh, their mother's brothers, so their first cousins, Jace, Luke, and Joff? And like I said before, one of the big questions in the show is we thought it was unlikely that they'd cut Bela and Reyna, because there aren't that many female characters who are also Targaryens, but Joff and Daron the Daring were really worried they're going to cut out, even though they're both dragon riders. You know, like, in descending order, it's... At the top of the list of people you could cut is, is Joffrey Valari, and he doesn't do that much. Then Daron the Daring, then Bela and Reyna. But I don't want him to cut anyone. I mean, just if it's just an outline that you have from Fire and Blood, you should probably pad it out instead of cutting things. Now, I went back and checked, and like I said, they're aging up the younger characters. They need to for legal reasons. You can't have Aegon II marrying when he's 13. I mean, legally, because this is a medieval world. So like Game of Thrones Season 1, they'll age up the younger characters, which makes it a little more confusing when we're looking for who could be playing the really young ones. They'll, they'll be older than they were in the book. During the Year of the Red Spring... Uh, 120 AC, 10 years before the dance, which is what the scene we think they were filming, that this is the Driftmark set. At that event, Bela and Reyna were four years old. Though, like I said, that doesn't prove anything. Amond Targaryen 
when he claimed Vagar, he was 10 years old, and we've seen spy photos of him, he looks like he's a 15-year-old. So, they're going to age them up, that isn't proof of anything. Now, most of you in the comments are probably going to be talking about the fact that they're mixed race. Uh, this isn't really news to us, because, you know, they already announced Corliss Valarian will be, well, black. He looks mixed race. He has Valyrian blonde hair. Like I, I said, I have a whole hour-long video devoted to this. I'm not trying to shut down your discussion of this, but I'd rather you do it on the video I've dedicated to that topic. Please see the link in the description box below. A lot of you aren't going to listen to me anyway. But talking about that they chose to go, okay, well, the Valarians are kind of like this creolized, vaguely like, they're, they're in the overseas colonies. It's like Latin America. It's like the Roman Empire. The, the Valerians are like the Roman Empire. And the books do say, well, the families below the dragon lords, like the minor aristocracy out in the provinces like Pentos, they just weren't as strict about blood purity because they weren't dragon lords. And in many ways, uh, Driftmark is kind of like their version of Barbados. Like, think in terms of, well, we're the British Empire, but well, okay, that's what it's like in London. This is out in the overseas colonies in the Caribbean. So, if you were going to race swap anyone, the Valarians kind of make the most sense. It doesn't really violate the rules of the books that much. Like, you can make Salvador San, the pirate black, and it doesn't really change anything. You established people from the lands of the former Valyrian Empire in Essos are racially mixed, they can look like anything, versus, you know, swapping the high towers. well, that makes much less sense than that, but they are foreigners. The Targaryens and Valarians only conquered and united Westeros a hundred years before the dance story takes place, where all this is, is going over, so I, I don't have a problem with that. It just adds another story detail, because in the books, the Valarians are kind of Targaryen light. They're like, well, we're Targaryens that don't have dragons, we have ships. Versus going, well, we're showing that there was stratification within the old Valyrian Empire, and it was different out in the distant colonies. That's better world building to me. Okay. However you feel, we already knew that a lot of the Valarians would be black or mixed race, because we know Corlys Valarian is black, his wife obviously isn't Rhaenys Valarian, and we've seen spy photos that we think are his daughter Lena, and another one we thought was Lenor, but didn't know the actor's name, and I've already made a separate video on this is the actress who I suspect is playing Lena based on Instagram follows, that Emma Darcy is, is following her. So we knew all of that, so it wouldn't be too much of a surprise that, okay, Daemon's children with Corliss's daughter might look mixed race, that these are actresses on their profile, it says mixed race. And I was thinking on that of, would they make Bela and Reyna white because they're only like a quarter black or something, that their their grandfather was black, but they aren't? It, it, how would they play with that if that of all their grandparents, that their father is white, Daemon, and one grandparent, Corliss, is black. But thinking on it, it actually makes more sense to do it this way, because it contrasts them with Rhaenyra's children with Laenor. I'm thinking of the whole, the seed is strong thing with the Lannisters and Baratheons, that they point out, you know, just look at Joffrey, he looks nothing like a Baratheon. Maybe we should suspect it, he, that Robert isn't his father. That if the big thing is people accuse that Rhaenyra's three sons with Laenor are all the bastard sons of Harwin Strong, and because they look nothing like him, okay, that kind of makes sense in the TV show. If you're going to change it that Laenor looks mixed race, have all three sons look white, and have people go, they look nothing like Corlys, they must be bastards, even though Rhaenyra is going, well, they look like my Aaron grandfather. The, that's a whole thing. Just imagine if they had uh, Bela and Reyna also look entirely white, and they're standing in the same room, and people are going, they say my sons are bastards because they don't look like their grandfather. Wouldn't she just point to Bela and Reyna go, so they don't look like their grandfather either, no one accuses them of being bastards, like that, that would make contradictions. So due to the ripple effect of the change to Corliss, if you're going to say Corliss is black, his children look mixed race, 
and people kind of throw a sidelong glance at Rhaenyra's sons because how could they, they don't look like their grandfather, makes more sense that way that Bela and Reyna would look mixed race to contrast them with um, Rhaenyra's three sons. Otherwise, it would be kind of weird if why are they so worked up about Rhaenyra's children, but not Daemon's children with, with them, the Valarians. That doesn't make sense. And on top of that, the other reason we're not surprised about this is we already saw footage of two young girls who looked mixed race, black with Valyrian blonde wigs. Back when I was painstakingly going through all the spy photo content from the Cornwall shoot, we actually got a short video clip through a spy camera of a crowd of child actors arriving on the Driftmark set, and they were heavily bundled up. They're child actors anyway, so we probably wouldn't recognize them. But in that group, there were clearly these two girls who, at the time, not just me, but everyone on Twitter and Reddit went, is that Bela and Reyna? Because they look like two mixed-race girls. Which, and we already had this discussion then, you know, it would make more sense if you change Corliss to have his granddaughters through Lena look like him, which dr draws even more suspicion to, it's not like we just bred these features out in two generations. No, the seed is strong. My granddaughters through my other child kind of still look mixed race. Why don't the ones through Rhaenyra? Maybe they're bastards. So because of that spy clip, we already suspected this. We already saw two children who we thought were Bela and Reyna. This just confirms that. So this shouldn't really be a surprise. And that they t she took a photo in front of a sign that says Red Gun. A and they're both working on an HBO project. It's Shawnee Smithhurst and Ava Osai Gurning. I'm like 99% sure that they are Bela and Reyna, simply because it's so specific. How many other half Welsh, half Ghanaian 12 year olds were filming an HBO project in Cornwall at this exact point in time? That it narrows it down. And like I said, they might not be playing these roles throughout the run of the show due to time skips. They might recast in season three. We already know they're playing around with timelines. That's the first part of this video and the part I feel most confident about. Now, a few other notes about people these two actresses were following. We think, maybe, is 15-year-old Evie Allen. Not Ava, Evie, Evie Allen. She posted a picture on a beach in Cornwall on May 1st, during filming, that looks like it was part of the same set of photos. And it looks like Shawnee. It looks like Shawnee's hair is in the photo. Moreover, Evie Allen is following both Shawnee and Ava on Instagram. And Evie is also following House of the Dragon news channels. So Evie Allen has probably also joined the cast. Another one is, another 15-year-old, they're both 15, is uh, Dylan Hughes who is mentioned in Instagram posts he was filming on a big new project around the same time as the Cornwall shoot. Some people think he looks like the spy photos for young Amond that we have. They're blurry enough, I'm not really sure. Dylan Hughes is also following Evie Allen. Though, of course, it's equally possible, given age ranges, if maybe he's playing Jace Filarian, Though Jace is younger than Amond, and 15 is kind of the upper limit, so he, there's a stronger chance he's playing Amond, maybe Jace. He, he's an older boy. Another thing that points to Dylan Hughes joining the cast is that his recent photos were liked by Emily Carey, who we just confirmed is young Allison. And like the, the younger cast members, plus Fabian Frankel, they're pretty unguarded about who they're following on Instagram or when they like the photos of other people who have joined the cast. It's like, we can see the likes. We, we know you are here. And Emily Carey is very active on Instagram. So what, some random actor, you, you suddenly were watching his photos. So I'm pretty sure Evie Allen and Dylan Hughes have joined the cast little less certain about who exactly they could be playing, whereas people think Dylan is probably Amon, and I'm a little iffy on that. 
simply due to age range of who else would be a 15 year old uh the running uh, in the cornwall shoot at driftmark the running guess is that evie allen might be playing helena targaryen which kind of makes sense that both evie and dylan are 15 years old helena and amond are pretty close in age they were born only one year apart uh, the birth order is aegon the second then Helena, then Amond in 107, 109, and 110 after conquest. Dayron the Daring is a bit younger, that Amond was born in 110, Dayron was born four years later in 114. It, it, all this, of course, depends on how they age everyone up. If they don't just proportionally go, okay, everyone's five years older, what if it's uneven? What if some get aged up more than others? I'm, I'm not really sure. In terms of, well, how old were these characters during the Year of the Red Spring when everyone went to Driftmark for that event? Uh, Dayron and Jace were actually the same age. Allison's youngest and Rhaenyra's oldest are the same age. They were born in 114, so they'd both be six years old during the Year of the Red Spring, when Bela and Rhaena were four. That they're slightly older than Bela and Rhaena. That kind of matches up, that if they cast 12-year-olds to play Bela and Reyna, Jace and Dayron in the 15-year range. Oh, speaking of the boys, based on Instagram follows, separate person now, we may have found another one. Leo Hart is a 13-year-old child actor who is in turn followed by Evie Allen, as well as Fabian Frankel. <laughs> Ah, uh, that guy, the, the Kristen Cole actor, he's the gift that keeps on giving. That he just openly friends people, and we've consistently been using this to find new cast members with everyone else we found. So just, wow, this random child actor is being followed by the Kristen Cole actor. Leo Hart has probably also joined the cast. Question is, who is he playing? Because again, child actors, they're unknowns. It's not as important as who they're playing to confirm they're in it. And actually... We think we spotted what might be Leo Hart in that same spy video clip from the Driftmark set. The one that seemed to show Reyna and Bela in full costume. They're actually running around with other children. There's these two Caucasian boys, both dark hair, black hair, brown hair. Could be Rhaenyra's sons. And if you zoom in on this, I mean, obviously it's blurry, but this does kind of match the general shape of the head of Leo Hart. This could be him, the taller boy. Not, a, not as certain on that as much as the two mixed-race girls with blonde hair. They could only be Bela and Reyna, who is this other kid. Maybe it's a minor cousin showing up for a crowd shot, but from the way there's handlers around, it's just them, not like 20 kids. These might be Rhaenyra's sons. And is it this actor, Leo Hart? On a separate note, separate person, Another quick casting confirmation. There was one adult guy at the Cornwall shoot who took his mask off, and for a time I thought it was an actor named Dean Weir. And while I think Dean is part of the cast based on his Instagram follows, just recently another local actor named Freddie Hill updated his spotlight profile to confirm he is in the cast of House of the Dragon. Not as a big character. His character is formally titled... Corey's Comrade, just local actor, small role on the show. Corey's Comrade is Corey with one R, an ersatz name for Carl Corey with two R's, Lenor Valarian's new romantic companion during the year of the Red Spring. And think about it, it's Carl Corey? So Freddie Hill isn't Carl Corey, we're saying he would be one of Carl Corey's entourage. It, but that's irrelevant. The point is, just looking in a side-by-side -side comparison, this is clearly Freddie Hill. I mean, it really looks like him. I don't think it's Dean Weir anymore in a wig. I think it's his real hair. Regardless, I consider it a lock that these two actresses, Shawnee and Ava, are playing Bela and Reyna because of the red gun, the mixed race stuff. Evie Allen and Dylan Hughes have probably also joined the cast probably is Helena and Amond or Jace, I'm less sure about Dylan. So that's the casting rumors. I'm going to tack on here two completely unrelated notes that didn't fit anywhere else, that didn't merit their own video. 
As you may have heard in the past week, production was briefly shut down due to a crew member testing positive for COVID. It shut down Friday, but restarted Wednesday. So because that was a weekend, they only lost two filming days for that. This wasn't that big of an issue. I, I didn't feel compelled to make a video about it. It's, a lot of shows shut down for a day or two in the UK recently. They've been having a spike in cases. Bridgerton Season 2 shut down for like two days as well due to a spike in cases. So that's nothing. As of yesterday, they're back filming again. All is well. Uh, that does bring up the IMDb page for House of the Dragon. If you go, you know, I'm refreshing this on a daily basis because sometimes they, invert, they inadvertently let things slip when they update it sometimes. At the bottom, under other staff members, they actually have a group of people who, whose sole task is that they are the COVID testers. See? So, they have a whole infrastructure in place just for keeping everyone safe from COVID, for regularly testing, for catching this early. They have all those mechanisms in place. And this is that mechanism working, that someone, you know, like, if you've ever been out and someone gives you that head temperature scanner thing that they test oh no you've got a mild fever test you for covid immediately isolate you before you can spread and it worked so they got all that in place that's good thinking of imdb though that brings up yet another tangent unrelated to either of these over on imdb it just updated to list someone as hd video assistant operator blood unit a minor position in the specific person isn't important this is confirmation that the second filming unit on House of the Dragon is indeed called Blood Unit. I've been talking about this in my past couple of videos, if you're one of my regular subscribers. Spy photos from the Cornwall shoot in England had a sign that said Fire Unit under their logo, so we put two and two together and, and figured that the home base unit for filming in England itself is called Fire Unit. And we guessed that, well, then the new travel unit must be called Blood Unit. After the prequel book, they're adapting Fire and Blood. So we got a Fire Unit and a Blood Unit. This just proves that, that we suspected for a long time of, I guess, the travel unit's called Blood Unit. So when we see them filming in Spain, uh, when they go there in October, there'll, there'll be signs and stuff saying Blood Unit. Back on Game of Thrones, the home base unit was in Northern Ireland. They've since moved to England. And the home base unit there was called Dragon Unit. While the travel unit, filming in Mediterranean countries like Malta, Croatia, and Spain, was called Wolf Unit. Which makes no sense, given that Daenerys and her dragons were mostly filming scenes in the Mediterranean countries by Wolf Unit. Ah. Well, House of the Dragon might expand in future seasons to have more than two filming units. You never know. Game of Thrones would occasionally expand to more than one unit, more than two units. They'd have a Raven unit in season four. They had a White Walker unit in the final season. It's usually two: a home unit and a travel unit. And for this, they're Fire and Blood. So that's just some production notes on here. The big thing is, we're pretty sure that this is confirmation that this is Bela and Reyna. We did see the spy clip of two girl, two mixed-race girls with Valyrian hair, but we worried, are these like minor Valarian cousins, or are you actually casting Bela and Reyna to be prominent characters? And that seems to be what they're doing. I'd be surprised if Evie Allen or Dylan Hughes or Leo Hart weren't cast in this show in some capacity, but the question is, well, who are they playing? We shall see. If you like all this reporting, I don't see that many other people reporting in all the casting leaks, even though they're leaking like a sieve. Please remember to like and subscribe, or leave a comment to boost me in the algorithm, because all this news is coming out, and more will only keep coming out as we're going through the second half of filming. 